Welcome back, everyone. Boy, you did that really well, by the way. I always tell our guests that for that opening, we have to do three seconds of pretending that we're talking, so there's something going on in the background. Well, I'll get a couple of actors in here, and it really sings. Um, okay, I got a good line for you. Let your freak flag fly. Say that three times fast. Can anybody say that three times fast? <laughs> this, these are students from the Boston Spa Middle School. And every year, the Boston Spa Middle School puts on a presentation, a major presentation from their theater group called The Launching Pad. And I must admit, it's always one of my favorite interviews to do all year long because when I meet young actors and young students who are interested in the theater, it's just pretty remarkable. So my guests are, this is Jared Wachtel, who plays Shrek. We've got Talon Markham, who plays the donkey in Shrek, my favorite. And guess what? We have a princess with us also. This is Princess Fiona, who every day has to use the name Sarah Hojnicki. Did I didn't, I didn't say enough. that? Close enough. Close enough? Good. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome, all of you. Real nice to have you here. Um, okay, let's start. I, I think I'm going to start with you, if you don't mind. Okay. And uh, just give us, just very briefly, what is this story of Trek? So Shrek is a fairy tale, and it's like, it's kind of like, don't judge a book by its cover, because Shrek, he mm. wants his swamp back because people have taken it over. So he goes on this like quest for this king, Farquaad, to find a princess, who is me. Mm -hmm. And so then, yeah, and he finds Donkey along the way, who is... Pretty annoying, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. <laughs> and so, and then they find me, and then. Now yeah, Shrek, yeah. Uh, yeah, the whole the whole thing there was that Shrek and Farquaad, right? Isn't yes, that the, the king, king who's not really a king, king though? Yeah, he the king, have a queen. quote unquote, the king. Yes. And that the deal is, is that to help the people in the swamp if he can find the princess. Yeah. Because he wants king to be king. Yes, right, exactly. Oh boy, it's a it's a great story. It's, it's very it's very unique and it's pretty it's pretty awesome. Right now, uh, you know the the role of the donkey is a is an actual it's a wonderful role because part of it is the donkey's annoying but in this kind of charming way, right? Yeah, he's uh he's pretty annoying I have to say, but um <laughs> he's. Charming. I mean, he really likes Shrek. He thinks of Shrek as his best friend. Mm, that's nice. So, you know, the underlying theme in so much of these kind of storylines, uh, if you look for the moral for the story, but, you know, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, you know, and, and the whole idea that beautiful isn't always pretty, you know, and all these things. And, you, and all these relationships are built along the way of this journey, right? Mm -hmm. Now, as Shrek, that's a lot of responsibility, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> What do you like about playing the character of Shrek? Well, he's just like a big, lovable ogre. And he has like <laughs> a sense of person a personality that I really like because he yeah. makes jokes like he jokes with Donkey and he makes jokes about him, makes fun of him kind of like yeah. in a friendly way. Well, you know what? There's a wonderful sense of self-effacing humor in a lot of that also, right? Yeah. You know, and I think that's what endears you to a lot of characters. Um, a lot of singing going on in this. Do you like to sing? Oh, uh, yeah, I really do like to sing. Yeah, what do you like about singing? Uh, just when you're on stage and you're singing to everyone, it's just uh, the feeling that you uh -huh. get is just, it's like electrifying. Oh, it is electrifying. Uh, what a lot of actors will say, or a lot of performers will say to me is, the feedback from the audience is, is everything. Do you feel that? Yes, it feels, it's, it's like so amazing to have something that you've worked so hard on be oh. like appreciated by other people, it just makes you feel so good. Yeah, boy, that, that is really well said, Sarah. And how do you feel about it? I feel almost electrifying, like Jared said. Um, it's, there's almost no words for it. It's very, when, you, when you're standing up there and you're singing to these people, you're telling part of the story. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes reality just slips away and you feel like you're actually in the moment. You are that character. Well, that's the art of acting. Yeah. Good for you. That, that's great. Um, you know, no presentation is just the front of the stage. The actors are playing roles, but when you put together a successful production, there's a lot of coordination between what goes on in front of the stage and behind the stage, don't you think? 
There so, really is no show without the crew. Yeah, yes. there's, there's no show right. without the crew. Some people's perspective is that there's no show without the actors. That's not true at all. Yes. You need the crew. Mm -hmm. Do you know, one final question I think I'd like to ask you. Uh, do you see any correlation between expressing yourself in acting and being in a play with the other things that you study? Um, well, I mean, definitely studying my lines mm -hmm. is kind of makes me want to do that more than studying for math homework or something. Yeah, I bet. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know, because... Well, how would you feel about that, Jared? <laughs> do you think that when you get to express yourself in front of an audience, that helps you do better in math or something like that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, I think when I express myself, I can express myself more in writing mm. than in English. Yes, got it. Math. Sure. They, you like that. Do you like to write? Uh, yeah, kind of. Good. Do, you, do all of you think that you might pursue some career Definitely. in acting? Definitely, yes. What would you like to do? I, I want to be an actress on Broadway. Actress on Broadway. It's been my Broadway. dream since I was little. You are little. <laughs> well, like littler than I am now. <laughs> I get away with saying that. When you're my age, everybody's little. Trust me. How about yourself? Um, I'd like to be a movie actress. Oh, fantastic. Are they, uh, is there a movie actress out there now that you admire? Um, I admire Lauren McCrosty. Oh, very interesting. That's good. Would, would you like to pursue it too, you think? Uh, yeah, I'd probably want to be an actor on Broadway, probably. Oh, yeah, it's interesting they say Broadway, right? That's, that's true. That's real acting with an immediate yes. contact to an audience and feedback. I, you hear that a lot from actors. That's why they like Broadway. All right, it's a Balsam Spa Middle School. The name of the theater group is The Launching Pad. They're doing a presentation of Shrek. It's a full-blown presentation. A couple of opportunities to see it. Friday, February 2nd, then Saturday, February 3rd, then the following week on the 9th and the 10th. And I can tell you, I've been to the presentation. They're just absolutely phenomenal, not only because of the presentation and how well it's put together, but because of all the emotional triggers and things that we're talking about here and how everybody works together to make it happen. What a wonderful experience. Well, thank you very much for coming. It was thank just you. a delight to talk to all of you. And, uh, and good luck, especially because you've got to wear that costume. <laughs> <laughs> to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.